guys and welcome to my fifth episode of my Lifmas series that I'm going to be doing for the entire month of December. And today's video is super fun in my opinion and that is just doing a giant gym girl wish list slash gym girl starter pack if you will. And I know the holidays are right around the corner. I just wanted to share what I've been loving as far as gym clothes, accessories, supplements, anything like that, but also share what is on my wish list this year and I know I have quite a few things. And there is quite a bit of stuff that I want to go over. I have accessories, I have tops, I have shorts, I have leggings, I have hoodies, I have pump covers, I even have shoes over here, um, sports bras, like there's so much. If I have time, I'm even going to be showing you guys some trying clips of some of the stuff, if not almost everything that I show you guys today. And then I'm also going to show you screenshots of the things I'm talking about of what is on my wish list this year as a gym girl. And I know this will be a little bit longer video knowing me, so we're just going to hop right into things. I have to start by saying that you guys will notice that I'm going to be saying the same brands kind of over and over, but I have just found about five, six, seven brands that I've just truly been loving and that I just tend to buy over and over again. Now I know there's so many other brands out there that people love. I just maybe haven't gotten the chance to try them yet, but these are just the brands that are either super popular in the gym world or just what I personally love. And brands include Gymshark, Alphalete, Honor Active, Define, Dark Sport, Kill Crew, Young LA, Navigation, Upper, and I have one thing from Lululemon. So I think the first thing I'm going to go over is some sports bras that I love. And as a medium sized chested girly, I do go for or lean towards sports bras that are more full coverage. And I like those Gymshark minimalistic bras, like couldn't be me. I am about a 36C or 34D and those just wouldn't work for me and so what i'm going to show you guys are some of my fuller coverage sports bras that i love are my tried and trues that i wear almost every single week to the gym first are a few from gymshark now i actually only own sports bras from gymshark i have maybe like one pair of shorts from them i feel like gymshark is one of those brands that everybody starts out with buying just because it's a little bit more on the inexpensive side and I know a lot of newbies will go towards that brand but I've honestly found other brands that I love way more and the material just isn't there at least for me and my body type I don't prefer their shorts or their leggings but I can get on board with some of their sports bras and one being their ruched sports bra so it looks like this it just has the ruched detailing in the front and then it just has a crossover in the back and then it has like this little mesh moment in the back. I'm not super crazy about that. I don't really see the need for it, but I guess it just adds to the style of it. This is a more like everyday sports bra that you can wear on like any day, whether it be upper body, leg day, or if you're just doing cardio. This is a great option that I lean towards and I have a variety of colors in that one. And then it's funny because this next bra is actually called their everyday sports bra. The straps were supposed to be crossed over in the back, but I actually end up cutting these ones and I wear it as like a halter top. I just tie these around my neck and it can be a little bit tight and dig into my traps a little bit when I do that. But I actually prefer the fit better like that when I did have them before I cut them. I just felt like it was a little bit loose and didn't really support the girlies. And when I cut it like this and wore it as a halter, I actually really liked it better. Next is Honor Active. I do have one or two sports bras from them, but I did just decide to bring out this one to show you guys. And it is their bandeau bra. It honestly just looks like this as a normal bandeau would. The kick with these is that they have this like plastic band around the top just to make it more secured. Sometimes that can be a little bit uncomfortable just when it like moves around. But I will say for a bandeau, this keeps the girls pretty supported. I do like how the straps can come apart and you can either take both of them off, which I can't do because again, I'm mid-chested, but you can take both of them off if you wanted to. You could just take one off and do it like a one shoulder moment or um, 
you can either like cross them over if you wanted to. So I really like that this is very versatile. And so I did want to show you guys this one. I do have this one from Define and it looks super tiny, but these are actually pretty stretchable. And this is so durable. This is my favorite halter bra that I that I own just because I have found it to be the most supportive. I don't have to sit there in the gym and like keep adjusting it because it's falling down or anything like that. And I think it's super flattering. Next, I have two from Dark Sport. Now I have a variety of different styles of bras from them. I have halter bras, I have their seamless sports bras, I have some razorback ones, but I just picked my two favorite at the moment and again they're more full coverage in my opinion and the first one is this razorback sports bra. It has a feel of like a sports bra and kind of like a tank top at the same time. It is a little bit longer than their traditional sports bras but I actually love it a lot. It's just super simplistic and again it just it covers everything up and I love these for a good like shoulder day or a push day. And then the next one I have is actually one of their newer ones they just came out with recently. It's called like the Huxley Seamless Bra. It has this cool detailing in the back with like the straps but the front a little bit longer than their traditional sports bras kind of like this Razorback one and I find it has a lot more coverage than their normal seamless. I do own a bunch of their regular seamless like those v-neck ones that you see but I do find that they not only dig a lot more into your traps but they also just tend to like kind of slide down and just show more cleavage in the front and some girls are totally fine with that and I do still wear them they just aren't my favorite bra from them if that makes sense and I've really been loving these two then the last brand that I have for sports bra is of course Alphalete one of my favorites is their trinity bra and it looks like this now now they do have this little like slit in the front but honestly when you're working out i find it that it kind of like rolls so like it doesn't even show half the time and so i still consider this to be pretty full coverage and then the back has the three tier straps in the back and i absolutely love this I'll say to definitely size down in the trinity bra I get all of these in a size small and still find that I have a little bit of room, but a medium would definitely be a little bit too big for me. And same goes for this next bra, which I think is called their like kinetic sports bra. I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the name of it. Now I know that they are completely sold out of these and they haven't released them in a little bit. I am hoping that they do in the near future just because I love the full coverage in the front. I love the Alphalete rubber detailing in the front. And then the back has these like crossover straps like into a Razorback. But then it also, also has like this four tier bands that go down as well. And I love this for back day. And once again, just like the Trinity bra, I recommend sizing down in these ones. I do have this one in a small as well. Next one, I know that they are also sold out and they haven't released it in, I think, over a year. But I really am hoping that they come out with these again. And it's their asymmetrical sports bra. And it's like the one shoulder bandeau. Before you guys hate me for showing you stuff that isn't in stock, I did find on Amazon like this dupe for it. I don't know the Amazon brand on the top of my head, but look at this. It's literally the same exact style, the same exact thing. Now it is a little bit longer, but besides that and having like the small alpha lead detail on the back, like their name, it's literally the same thing and it's cheaper off of Amazon and they have so many more colors. But if you literally type in, I think, like, asymmetrical bra, it'll pop up. As for sports bras go, I actually don't really have a ton on my wish list. I think I put maybe one Young LA sports bra on my list just because I haven't tried their sports bras yet. Next, I'm going to move on to shorts, I think. And there are a ton that I'm going to go over. The first one is, of course, the Alphaly Amplifies. These, I think, are honestly top three I think that are talked about within the gym girl world if you will 
and that's for a good reason i absolutely love these shorts they've never steered me wrong i've never had the bud scrunches rip on me i have so many colors in these shorts they always are coming out with new ones which is crazy and it, sometimes it's hard to keep up with I honestly ask for new colors every single year. I don't get tired of these. They are a little bit more compressive, so I would keep that in mind. I have another pair of shorts that I recently just got from their Black Friday sale because I've never really tried any other shorts from them besides the Amplify ones. And I wanted to try something new and these are their Surface collection. These ones actually have like the crossover in the front so it kind of like snatches your waist a little bit more. I will definitely say they are not as compressive as the Amplifies. This material is a little bit more stretchy and a little bit more softer. So we'll probably reach more for the Amplifies, but this is a good like second best, I think, if you aren't crazy about like butt scrunch or compression. Moving on to uh, probably a tie for my most worn short. And that is, of course, Dark Sport Seamless Shorts. I cannot, guys, I cannot get enough of these freaking shorts. If I could show you guys my closet, I think you guys would think I'm insane and crazy because I have so many colors in these freaking shorts, you guys. I think I, I think I honestly have more than the Amplifies. And <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just vibe so much with Dark Sport in general and all their pieces. I know they're a bit more grungier, but I just think they fit so, so, so well. They're buttery soft. They have the butt scrunch. And I just think they fit my body type personally very, very well. I also am a girly who wears a lot of like black and neutral colors to the gym. But when I am feeling like a little bit more colorful, a little bit more colorful or I want to feel a little bit more feminine I will grab my amplifies or even these defined shorts that I'm going to show you guys in a minute but guys you cannot go wrong with these and I know some people think dark sport is so overhyped or it's annoying because they only do drops they only do one to two drops every month you have to be on the site when it goes live even early to get the things you want but I've said this in a previous dark sport haul video but they're increasing their stock you guys like things aren't going out of stock as fast as they used to they used to make these shorts they only they only used to make these shorts out of 500 in every single size so the tag would be like one out of 500 now the tags are saying like blank out of a thousand so they're making a thousand of these now in every single size they're making a thousand of the pump covers in every single size if not more so they really aren't as bad as they used to be you guys so i highly 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 recommend these shorts their seamless shorts are their most popular but they do sometimes release these other ones and they're called like pump shorts they're more of like an energy feel kind of like the alphalete surface it's kind of like a similar material similar feel to those they don't cinch you in um some of them have like a band around them that cinches you in but these specific ones that i grabbed don't they're not tight on your waist at all these are a great second choice and i love the detailing that they put on these pump shorts most of them still have butt scrunches but again if you're not like a bunch scrunch girly i know that they do sell these sometimes without any bun scrunch maybe if i remember i'll show you guys a pair of these that don't have the scrunch and compare it to these ones these are a great choice if you want to try dark sport but you aren't a butt scrunch girly or you just don't like compressiveness i think these are a great option next is probably my third favorite and that's honor active i just grabbed this one pair for you guys and this is their effortless seamless collection that is the only collection so far that I've tried from them, but I love it so much that I just keep repurchasing them. And the side detailing that they have on these is so pretty. Of course, have the butt scrunch in the back. And the material, I think, just got upgraded because they fit so smoothly. They, even though they have like a compressive band, they definitely aren't as compressive as the athlete ones. I have three more brands of shorts to show you guys. I just don't necessarily grab them as much as I do with the Honor Active Dark Sport and Alphalete, but I know other gym girls who absolutely love these, so I did want to share them. 
on. It's not like that I hate these shorts. It's just, again, I don't gravitate towards them as much as the ones that I love, you know? So with that being said, the next pairs that I have are from Define. I love what Define has to offer, and I love the fact that they come out with such bright and colorful colors. Define shorts, I think, make my glutes stand out so well, like even more so than the other shorts that I mentioned. And that's because they have like this extra material like within the glute area. So it just accentuates your glutes that much more. I just think what would change the game for Define is if they changed their material just slightly. If it was just a little bit more soft and made it feel like I wasn't really wearing shorts, if that makes sense. Like my dark sport ones feel so effortless and soft and seamless and these ones just feel a little bit more stiff. This is their impact collection and this is their dynamic collection and honestly the only difference is, is that the dynamic ones have a little bit higher waistband and a little bit lower seam like going down and the impact ones kind of sit more like mid on your waist and are definitely a slightly shorter. And then the next pair I have is from Kill Crew. Again, don't hate these. I just honestly kind of forget that I have them sometimes, but I love these for upper body days. I think they're so cool and they are very high quality. They are very chunky and thick. Like these are in white, obviously. And since they are so thick, they are not see-through at all. And when I wear them, I actually just tend to fold the waist down. We'll say like the back end isn't the most flattering thing ever just because there's not really anything going on. They're more like boxer kind of shorts, if you will. They are more men's sizes, so I do order a small in these ones. So this is a great option if this is more your vibe than like butt scrunch and feminine vibes over there. I do love these a lot. Finally, the last brand that I have is Navigation. And a lot of girls, honestly, are probably not going to like me for my opinion about these, but they aren't my favorite shorts in the world. I don't absolutely hate them. I just don't think I'm ever going to order another pair of these. But I did want to show you guys because I know so many other girls love them. Um, I do absolutely love this color, this aqua color. It is right up my alley. These pro shorts don't have a butt scrunch and I am a butt scrunch girly. But I think there's plenty of material to go around to just shove them up there anyway. I actually originally ordered these in a medium and I returned them and exchanged them for this small because I found that sizing up there was so much extra material and it was just unflattering. I do struggle with like camel toe in these as well. For all, I do think they are a little bit oversized so I will keep that in mind and I would recommend sizing down. Just like Gymshark, I think Navigation is a good like beginner brand to start off with if you're looking to not spend as much money on gym clothes if you're just starting out or anything like that. But that reminds me, if you do like Athlete but you want like a dupe, is this brand called Arola on Amazon that are so much like Athlete and for way less. They're probably anywhere from I think like $25 to like $30 instead of $50. But that is a great option if you're looking for a dupe for the Amplifies. In these sports shorts, I haven't had a lot of time with these. Once again, I'm not crazy about them. I do have these in the leggings version and I actually love those a lot. And this part of the short material is super stretchy and soft. And I actually love the way this feels when you put them on. The only thing I don't really like about these is end at the top just because it is so compressive and it cinches you in like for real, for real. Next, I have leggings. I only have a few pair to show you guys. I'm gonna try and speed things up just a little bit and not give as much detail. First one, you already know, I'll fully amplifies, but the leggings version, again, I get all of my amplifies in a size small. They fit pretty well, and again, so many colors to choose from. They are so durable. Again, don't have any problems with the butt scrunch. This is the digital violet color and I absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty. But again, I have so many colors in these ones. Super reliable legging, super flattering on the glutes and great for those colder days. 
they fit exactly like the Amplify shorts, just a longer length. Um, and then next I have the Dark Sport seamless leggings. I love the wolf head that they have on the side. And I get these ones in a size small. I do recommend sizing down in their leggings. They are so unbelievably stretchy, even more so than their shorts. So if you're in between sizes, I definitely would size down because there's so much material to go around and they'll stretch out. I promise you. One of my other favorite leggings is the Honor Active ones. Again, they fit exactly like the, the effortless seamless shorts that I have. These are the effortless seamless leggings. I know that's a mouthful. Have the butt scrunch, have the same detailing, um, have the little logo on the leg. Again, I get everything in Honor Active in a medium. This is their cool wash brown color, I think it's called. Super soft, comfortable, and they're not as compressive as Alphalete's. And then once again, like I said before, talking about navigation, I have the Navigation Sport leggings. No butt scrunch, but you can easily pull the material up the cheeks if you really wanted to. I do have problems with camel toe a lot with the Navigation shorts and the leggings, so I typically do wear a shirt over these when I do wear them just to cover that up a little bit more and the waistband is pretty compressive but from the waist down they are so stretchy it's kind of crazy sizing for these is a little bit wonky I don't want to tell you to size down but if you don't care about the compressiveness then yeah I would size down because there's a lot of material to go around but if you do care about the waist part I would maybe think about sizing up for that part after I have, I always like to bring up when talking about leggings just because, you know, it was time of the month and when you're feeling super bloaty and crappy and you just don't want anything compressive and squeezing you, I always go with my Lululemon leggings if I'm feeling super, like, gross and I just want to be comfortable. This is a great go-to. I did get these as a gift one year, so I'm not sure what exact style of legging it is. I just know they are Lululemons. It's really quick. I just wanted to show you guys some bodysuits and they both are from Dark Sport. They're just the only bodysuits that I've tried so far, but I know a lot of girlies have been on the like the Aritzia ones, I think. I just haven't gotten around to try them just because I know they are a pretty penny. I know the Dark Sport ones are about like $55 too, but I think the Aritzia ones are like 80 I want to say or even more I'm not sure detailing that dark sport always comes out with is just top tier just have like a double little strap um, and that's all there is to these ones and this bodysuit I have is a little bit more risque just because I do find it to be a little bit more shorter and then the back is just these two small straps that like cross over in the back I love this bodysuit for back day I just say it's a little bit risque just because of the length down here as well as I kind of have issues with a little bit of side boob sometimes. Next I think I'm going to move on to some tops like a little crop moments, some more like energy crop tops, um, some long sleeve tops and um, jackets and things like that. So the first one is Dark Sport. This is an example of one of their cropped t-shirts. I love the way these feel. And just like their pump covers, they are a little bit oversized. So I do think you can get away with maybe sizing down in your original t-shirt size. Like I get all the cropped Dark Sport ones in a size small. And another cropped piece from Dark Sport. I recently got this one. And these are so soft. It's like a crop tee moment, but it's not as oversized as like their traditional one. And it's more like form fitting. It's not tight by any means, but it's just a little bit more flowy. And I just love the simplicity of this. And I actually have more of these on my wish list. I want to get these more in the future, like in different colors and everything like that. I think they're so comfortable. And then one more thing from Dark Sport, it's another cropped piece but it's like their long sleeve energy top. And these are so freaking cool. I do love to wear these over like their bodysuits just to give it that more badass look. 
and I love the detailing that they always put on here and then they even have the wolves in the back I think it's so cool this is more of like an energy top feel so it's going to be comparable to the material from the pump shorts I have a few of these crop tees from Alphalete I get these ones in a size medium the thing I will say about these that I've noticed is that they aren't really sweat proof to keep that in mind so you are going to be showing some sweat while wearing these in the gym. But if you don't care about that, these are super flattering. They are super soft and stretchy. For sizing, I think they're true to size. I wouldn't necessarily say to size up or size down. I get mediums in these and they fit me pretty well. A few pieces from Honor Active. This is their effortless, seamless, cropped tee. And it does have short sleeves and then it has this beautiful cutout in the back. I think these are super flattering. I actually love wearing these ones with the Alpha Elite Trinity bras. So it shows like one of the straps like showing in the back. And I love that. Um, and then I also bought this like long sleeve energy um, jacket. Or you're just not a crop top girly. I know that Honor Active sells a mellow soft collection is what they're called. And they sell them in a mid length. They sell them in a longer length, short sleeve, long sleeve. Those were actually on my wish list this year, and I'll try and put screenshots of what I'm talking about if you guys don't already know. For their Black Friday, I know they sold out of like all the colors in them. I was lucky enough to get two of them. I got one short sleeve and one long sleeve to try, honestly, in like the two colors I could get. But I do have to wait till Christmas to wear them just because that they were on my wish list, and so a family member did get them for me on the Black Friday sale. And so I know which ones I got, but I have to wait till Christmas to actually wear them, but that's okay. So I know those have been super popular and would highly recommend those if you're not a crop top girly at all. Brief puppy intermission. Hi, Bo. <laughs> you don't like crop tops and you also don't like form fitting shirts, the next best thing is going to be pump covers. If you don't already know, Dark Sport is probably number one in the pump cover game. These are so unmatched, so unbeatable. I have yet to find a brand that can compete with Dark Sport's pump covers. They are just perfectly oversized. They are flowy. They're not that kind of regular t-shirt material that feels stiff. I do prefer the size mediums just for that extra oversized fit. Next one is from Alphalete and with the Alphalete ones I do size up to a large. I do find that they are more of a regular t-shirt feel rather than an oversized fit like the dark sport ones so i do size up to a large to get that oversized feel if that makes sense i just have this one with the alpha elite writing on the top and then it has like the cool like classic original alpha elite wolf on the side that's in the front and then goes towards the back i think that's so sick Okay guys, I promise we're almost done with the apparel portion. I just wanna go over some of my favorite hoodies and my favorite sweats that I have. I actually have several that I love from Dark Sport. I know I sound like a broken record, but Dark Sport is where it's at for me at least. Um, and I know they're a huge hit in the bodybuilding and gym community right now. I just grabbed like four different styles of hoodies from them because I love every single one and I honestly couldn't just pick one. The first one I have is their classic men's um, hoodie. I did get a size large. My I could honestly go both ways, like medium large. I think the mediums are still oversized. I just love the oversized feel of the larges. This is just a normal crew neck that I have. It's just super simple. It has like writing in the front and then nothing on the back. This is a crew neck and I got this in a size medium and this honestly feels oversized to me. It's not as long, like it's not going to cover my butt as if a men's large hoodie would, but I still like the oversized feel of it. And sometimes when I'm not feeling like having like a hood on the back of me, I love going for a crew neck moment. I love the fact that they're not like thick on the inside. Like you're still gonna sweat if you wear these while working out, but like the inside is more of like a, a clothy feel rather than a thick and like Sherpa feel. Ain't another women's cropped hoodie, but it, it a zip up. 
and I am in love with this. I love the freaking hood detailing on this specific one. I don't want you guys to hate me for showing you stuff that's not necessarily in stock right now, but showing you guys the different styles that these brands carry, I think is super helpful. And just to know sizing and everything for the future. I know it's another cropped, but is this Alphalete crop sweatshirt? It's exactly kind of like the dark sport one where it has like this band detailing at the bottom, but this one isn't a full zip up. It just has like a little quarter zip moment. Um, the, the outfit ones are definitely more thick, definitely a more like thicker, warm material on the inside. This one's a size small, but it did say in the description that this one was slightly oversized. So that's why I didn't want to size up. Um, so I stuck with a small in this one. Last apparel thing that I want to show you guys is just a few pairs of sweatpants that I absolutely love. Um, I'll actually start with my newer ones that I've gotten and that's from Honor Active. And guys, these are so freaking chunky. And these are actually like the popular cargo sweats that are, that are like on the rise lately. And at first, I wasn't sure if I ever wanted to order a pair of these. I just didn't know if it was like my style. But after I got these in the mail and tried them out, I honestly understand the hype. I ordered these in a medium and they fit my length like pretty great. I wouldn't say they're like oversized. I think they're pretty like true to size. I just think it's a great material. So it's just like, it feels chunky and durable, but the insides aren't as like warm as you would think when first initially holding them. The insides are kind of comparable to like the dark sport ones, to be honest. But I absolutely am in love with those Honor Active ones. On my wish list, I honestly have a matching hoodie that goes with it. I think that would look super sick. And I would definitely get more colors in that one for sure. Next pair I have is a super popular option, I think, in the gym world. And that is the Young LA Immortal Joggers. This one is the women's collection. I have like five other pairs that are in the men's. And it, they're the exact same. I think they fit the exact same way. I ordered these in a medium to have them be a little bit more oversized and baggier. The only difference is instead of this butterfly, it'll have like the eagle on it for the men's. I understand the hype for these. These are super durable. They're super thick. And the detailing on these are super sick. However, these are very, very warm to work out in. And the last two I have are dark sport. I, first ones are um, the men's sweatpants so i do get a medium in these ones and they fit great oversized again the inside is more of like um like a terry cloth material so it's super lightweight on the inside which i love the next pair i have is this women's like wide um leg sweatpants i actually was hesitant on getting them because i am shorter so i thought the wide leg would look kind of ridiculous on me. But I actually love them. I've actually ordered like three pairs of these and I love how big they fit, how chunky they are. I actually sized down to a small just because they are wide leg. Oh, that was a big mouthful and a lot to go over. And that was just the apparel portion of this video. But I really wanted to dive in and show you guys all the things I've been loving. And if you have similar things on your wish list that you've never gotten to try and show you guys my sizing if you're similar to me. Next, I'm going to move on to some accessories that I love. Not that a gym girl needs these things, but if the gym is a super big part of your life and you're there almost every day, or if you're just starting out, I just wanted to go over some things that have helped me through my journey. The thing that I have is actually some bands. Depending on your gym, your gym might carry booty bands, they might carry these like longer ones, but I personally wanted to invest in some of my own. And these were quite inexpensive. I found these like a pack on Amazon. This like thicker band I actually use when I'm using the hack squat machine. Um, I do banded hack squats and it really helps a lot, especially with those Arsenal strength machines, man. They can be kind of heavy starting out. It really helps to put on there, especially at the bottom of the rep, and not put so much pressure on my knees. And then these like longer, skinnier ones, I like to use for assisted pull-ups. If gym doesn't have an assisted pull-up machine, a band is a great second choice in trying to work on your pull-ups. I would invest in some good quality uh, straps 
These ones I have right here, um, I got off of Amazon as well. They were like probably 15, 20 bucks and they just go around your wrist and then you put this strap like you wrap it around the bar and then you can grab it so it's not putting so much pressure on your hands. These are also wrist wraps but these ones don't go around a bar these just go around your wrist um, to help with like wrist supports so like in the beginning of my journey I would use these a lot for when I was benching or doing like pressing movement I don't really wear these anymore, but if you're looking for some wrist support, um, these ones are are called Bear Grips, and I'm pretty sure these are off of Amazon as well. Gyms will have like clips for the weights and everything and the barbells. I got a pair of my own barbell clips um, that I bring with me every single day just in case the gym is low on them or I can't find them, they're all being used, anything like that. And I hate those metal ones. I can't stand them. So if that's the only thing available, I like to have my own. And again, off of Amazon, these are probably like 15 bucks. As for belts go, I know belts can be super expensive, especially the lever belts. Those can be the most expensive. So my very first belt that I got, was again off of Amazon. I'm not sure how much this one is, but I know it's way less. I think it's less than $30, I want to say, um, or about there. And this is just, this one was a great option for me just because I was getting started and I didn't really need like a good quality one. And I still use this to this day. I did end up getting one from Upper. This one also is, I think, pretty affordable. This one, I think, sells for $40, $45. I did get a small in this one. I I wish I ordered a size up. I do find that this one is a little bit smaller. Um, this Amazon one I have in a medium and is a little bit big, but I like that I have the room and I know this one will fit me rather than if I'm than this one where I feel squeezed a lot and I <laughs> I honestly can only fit it in the first or second notch. So I do honestly wear my Amazon one way more, but I love the upper one. I think in the future I would invest in another upper belt. And then also from upper, I have knee sleeves. Sorry if the lighting is getting a little dark. I know the sun is about to go down and my battery is about to die. So I'm trying to go as quickly as possible before I have to come back and it's super dark outside. But anyway, um, also from Upper, I got knee sleeves. These are also super affordable from them. I love all of their accessories. I actually put like a new barbell pad on my wish list from them. I put new ankle straps from them because right now I just have these ankle straps from Amazon and they work great. I just wanted um, a little bit of a nicer pair. So I did put the ones from Upper on my wish list and then also a barbell pad from them because I have this like I also have this one from Amazon, <laughs> so honestly anything from Amazon is a good starting point, but I just like that the upper ones wrap completely around instead of this one has like the space in between so it can get kind of annoying if it moves around, but it has been a great option and I've used it um, for over a year and a half ever since I started lifting and it's done me wonders. Uh, it's just time for me to upgrade a little bit. For headphones go, I honestly just have these AirPods. Oh, Air Maxes or whatever they're called are super popular, but they're so expensive. And I've heard they just fall off your head a lot. So, so I just use my like solo beats that I've had since like high school. And I think the amounts are the same thing. And I've had them for years. They are getting a little beat up just because I wear them so often. But just invest in a good pair of headphones and you'll be fine. Make sure you invest in a good water bottle. This one I've been loving. It's like the Awala. I found it at Walmart and I think they sell them at like Target too and you can find them on Amazon. But I love these little guys. It has like a built-in straw, which I love, but also like just a normal drinking hole. But I found it a lot easier to finish and drink my water with this little like built-in straw. I don't know what it is. It just me drink more. And the last accessory I have um, is my wolf pack backpack and don't mind how dirty it is. I've had this bag for over a year now and she's been through it. I kind of tend to like throw her around a lot. I freaking love these bags. They literally have a giant compartment right here and then another pocket right here and then they have two front pockets as well 
and then they come with two side cup holders for your water bottle or your pre-workout or anything like that. You can customize them with like patches on the front. So I just have like my veteran patch and like a she-wolf patch that you can get off their website as well. Burger quality and this is the 35 liter one. And I know they have like a 45 liter, 25 liter, and even smaller. Um, I even have a mini one that I love and it's like a 9 um, liter backpack. 35 liter just fits like everything. I can fit my tripod, my barbell pad, my knee sleeves, and all of my other accessories that I bring to the gym in this one bag. So I really love those. Another bag that's on my wish list that I actually asked for for Christmas this year is that Upper Gear just released um, some gym bags. They're not like a backpack, they're more of like a duffel bag style. My most worn pair of shoes that I wear are these high top Vans. As they say to like have like a flat shoe. And so I really love the high top Vans. I have a few pairs of those. And then even like the low top ones, I like to wear these on like upper body days. Like the New Balance like dad shoes. These ones aren't the traditional dad ones, but they're just a pair of New Balance and never in my life thought I would have bought another pair of New Balances. The last time I wore these was for boot camp for the Navy and they gave us the most hideous pair of New Balances in boot camp and I just never thought I would buy another pair. We've been on the rise in the gym world, so especially with gym girlies, but it is on my wish list to get a uh, a new pair of like New Balance dad shoes as well. And then for the days I really don't want to wear a gym shoe at all, I really love these chunky slides from a website called Proses. And if you go to their website and you use my code Josh10, you can actually save a little bit of money. But I, and I love them for leg days or especially quad days where I just don't want to wear a shoe and I'm just like mostly doing movements in my socks. I really love wearing these to the gym. So the last thing I wanted to go over was actually some supplements that are super popular in the gym world. I'm, there's so many supplements out there and it could honestly be a whole video within itself. But I think I'm just going to go over the top three supplements that I think if you ask any gym goer, they would say these are their top three supplements that they use. First being like just a pre-workout. So many different brands of everything that sell pre-workouts. But um, some of the ones that I have in stock right now at my house that I've been using is the Rise pre-workout and this is in the Baja Cooler flavor and then Bucked Up the Woke Af pre-workout and this was in the Caramel Apple one. I love that flavor for fall time. And then Love Oxy Shred. Um, this is in the flavor Cosmic Blast. Then I have this pre-workout from Legion. It's their Pulse pre-workout drink in the flavor Rainbow Sherbert. It's Legion, and if you use my code Joss at checkout, um, and it's your first time ordering Legion, you can save 20% off your order. And then the second supplement I want to go over is creatine. You'll personally like to take the creatine monohydrate. I know there's creatine HCL. I'm not going to get too much into the difference. But creatine just supports muscle growth and recovery and all the, that good stuff. Creatine, in my opinion, just creatine. It doesn't really matter what brand you get it from. I think it's all the same. Some of the ones that I've used in the past is the one from First Form. I'm currently, I've currently been using the one from Prozis. Again, you can use my code JOSS10 to save you money. And then I've also used the EHP one. And then the last thing is protein powder. I have the Legion Whey Protein in the flavor of Mocha Cappuccino. And this one is really good with like the chocolate Fairlife milk. And then I also have the one from Prozis. And this is the Cookies and Cream. And I've honestly been having this every single day since I've gotten it. It is so good whether mixed with milk, water, or I've been making ice cream with the Ninja Creamy and it's super delicious. It, I've really come to like these two brands. The quality of their protein powders is really great. I think that's all I wanted to go over for you guys. I know that was a mouthful. I know that was so much to go over. But I just wanted to share with you guys my personal favorite gym girl favorites right now. And what's popular. And if you needed help with any ideas. Um, for your guys' wish list this year or in the future. And if you've made it to the end, thank you guys so, so much for watching and hanging out with me. I really hope this was helpful. I'll definitely link my Amazon storefront because all the things I mentioned that I got from Amazon, I have linked in my storefront. So I'll make sure to put that in the description. But if you guys have any other questions or comments, please leave them below. And I'll see you guys real soon in the next video. Bye.